The EU is on a collision course with member states, with several countries already moving to open up their economies after apparently becoming frustrated with the bloc's sluggish response to the coronavirus pandemic. The confusion at the heart of Brussels was made clear in the European Commission's roadmap document published yesterday which sets out a strategy for lifting containment measures. This warns of a lack of coordination which had the potential to have negative effects for all members of the EU27. The general perception has been that the EU was caught flat-footed by the sheer pace at which the disease has spread across the world, with Mauro Ferrari, president of the European Research Council and the bloc's science chief, resigning last month in protest. As the situation deteriorated, nations took unilateral decisions to close borders to slow the spread of the disease in the face of a lack of clear guidance from Brussels. Countries began, in an illustration of the problems inherent in trying to stitch together a coordinated response, European Council President Charles Mikkel's office on Tuesday sent requests for changes to the text of the roadmap, which will need to be ratified by all 27 heads of state and government. Now countries including Spain and Austria, apparently frustrated at the pace at which decisions are being taken, are taking matters into their own hands, easing lockdown measures in a bid to restart their economies. In Italy, the European country hardest hit by COVID-19, bookshops, stationery stores and children's clothes shops were allowed to reopen on Tuesday. Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz offered an insight into his strategy during a press conference on Tuesday at which he announced the reopening of small shops and hard. He said, if the numbers go in the wrong direction, we'll pull the emergency brake. Our approach over the coming months is very clear, as much freedom as possible, as many restrictions as necessary. Spain's Prime Minister, Pedro Sánchez, delivered a similar message on Easter Sunday as he announced some factory and construction workers would be permitted to go back to their jobs. He said, I want to be very clear, we are not even entering the second phase, what the experts have come to call the de-escalation phase. The state of alarm continues, the general confinement continues. Only the extreme measure of hibernation of all the non-essential economic activities that has been in force during these last two weeks has been completed. Other countries, including France and Belgium, have adopted a more cautious approach, with the former announcing a two-week extension of social distancing policies and, the roadmap, unveiled by European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen yesterday, warns, a lack of coordination in lifting restrictive measures risks having negative effects for all member states and is likely to give rise to political friction. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach, at a minimum, member states should notify each other and the Commission in due time before they lift measures and take into account their views. The document urges leaders to set epidemiological criterion for ending containment measures which demonstrate the spread of the disease has been reduced for a sustained period of time. The document adds, though coordination and solidarity between member states were put into question at the outset of the pandemic, the past few weeks have seen growing examples of solidarity throughout the EU such as the treatment of intensive care patients in other member states. Commenting, Ms. von der Leyen said, even though conditions in the member states still vary widely, all Europeans rightly ask themselves when and in what order the confinement measures can be lifted. Responsible planning on the ground, wisely balancing the interests of protection of public health with those of the functioning of our societies, needs a solid foundation. That's why the Commission has drawn up a catalogue of guidelines, criteria and measures that provide a basis for thoughtful action. Commenting, Ms. von der Leyen said, even though conditions in the member states still vary widely, all Europeans rightly ask themselves when and in what order the confinement measures can be lifted. Responsible planning on the ground, wisely balancing the interests of protection of public health with those of the functioning of our societies, needs a solid foundation. That's why the Commission has drawn up a catalogue of guidelines, criteria and measures that provide...